Thank you. Thank you for, to, the, to the organizer for, for inviting me to address you on these very, very important issues of uh, religion and the role of the region in the, in the Mediterranean. Uh, thinking, uh, thinking about the history of Mediterranean Sea, I hardly could imagine an area more involved in conflict, in fights, and in wars. History teaches us that since ancient times, populations tried to conquer Mediterranean in order to impose, to impose their rule over both the sides, the European and the African, not to, be, not to mention the, the Middle East. But has the Mediterranean been only a theater of bloody violence? I do not think so. Crossing of seas brought not only wars. Since ancient history, ships sailing from Carthago to Rome, from Gibraltar to Piraeus, from Marseille to Istanbul, were a formidable vehicle of exchange of ideas. Ideas spread in the whole Mediterranean Sea, represented for centuries the lymph of new societies, growing each side other. Among these ideas, religion occupied a key position. And it was also thanks to religion that dialogue among populations and nations has been able to continue during time. I do not want to be misunderstood. Many wars and battles have been fought, to, uh, has, has been fought due to, religion, to religious motivations. But we would make a terrible mistake if we consider only the negative aspect of the inter interaction based on religions in the Mediterranean Sea. What I want to say is that Mediterranean is not only Lepanto. It's something else, something more. Mediterranean represents the cultural space in which religions have found a new path to improve peace and dialogue, even if it has not always been very easy. Our history is full of, of examples of men and women, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, that have pursued that path, providing a decisive effort to strengthen peaceful and nonviolent relations. And we come to, pre to the present. I would argue that we have to believe uh, in interreligious and intercultural dialogue. And uh, there are many images for this. I could pick two. I would choose uh, the first, the historical meeting between uh, Pope Paul VI and Constantin Constantinople's Patriarch Athenagora in 1964 in Jerusalem. That picture does not represent only an historical testimony, but it will live again next month of May, when Pope Francis and Patriarch Bartholomew will put on another scene, another, uh, will take another step on the path of uh, ecumenism. But I would also, as an Italian, I would choose the image of Assisi and of that uh, global interreligious dialogue promoted by John uh, Paul II. These are pictures, images of exceptional moments, but how can we translate directly the embrace between Francis and Mar Bartholomew today, as well as Paul VI and Athenagora 50 years ago? This is the point. How in politics also, or as citizens, we can cooperate in constructing the peace, especially in a region such as the Mediterranean, which is extremely complex and cannot be, fra be framed in a unique context. I can say what good politics, in my view, should do at national level and at a European level. I will say that uh, we certainly focus on education. We should make education a vehicle for learning about religious and cultural identity and transmitting knowledge of the other. And we should start from primary schools. Intercultural dialogue, interreligious dialogue should start in primary school, both on the two sides of the Mediterranean. I understand that it's very difficult, but we, sh we should start on our side. And these, these are not new ideas, the idea on which I had the honor to work when I was uh, responsible for intercultural dialogue in the Mediterranean 10 years ago. Those ideas were good 10 years ago, are still good today, but we should start to implement them. Uh, we should promote mobility and, ex and exchange between schools and universities. 
I still believe, and uh, we will try as the Italian government during our semester of presidency of the European Union to relaunch the idea of an Erasmus program in the Mediterranean Sea. Because the idea of having our youth, our students uh, exchange ideas, exchange experience in the Mediterranean, we are f firmly convinced that it could work as it has worked in, within the European Union. Uh, we should make media, and also traditional media, not only social media, which we have seen have played a key role in recent event, events in the Mediterranean, but we should use media in, in general as a vital instrument of equality and of mutual knowledge, and not as a part of the problem, as very often media are today when you talk about Mediterranean and uh, interreligious uh, relations. Uh, if we fail to invest in culture now, there is a danger that cultures and religions will be caught up in a global maelstrom in which they will be hijacked for the most retrograde and criminal ends. If on the other end, we all resolve to meet this challenge head on, we will form a human community united by a common destiny in a global world. And to this end, we should also revise fundamental policies of the EU, such as Nibrod policy, which certainly has not produced the result it could produce, and certainly should focus much more on the cultural and education aspect, as uh, uh, more than uh, compared to uh, what has done in, in uh, in, in the past. I really believe that uh, we, need, uh, we need two elements, both, both or three elements, both with the same relevance. The first is the strength we deserve to faith for the believers or to goodwill for the non-believers. The second is the mind openness. The stronger would be our faith, our goodwill, the greater would be our mind openness, and vice versa. Let me explain why. We need a faith which has to be free from other ends. Religion is such an important feature of our individual identity that any other human passion, for instance, poli politics, national interest, economy, could have the chance to influence it. Instead, what we are, with, we are witnessing in the Mediterranean area is the opposite. Religion exploited to pursue different goals. That's unacceptable. In our current globalized world, much more people turn their eyes to religion, looking for inspiration, sustain help. We have to protect these people. We cannot allow them to fall in hands of fundamentalists ri rising over the Mediterranean region, fundamentalists of all religions. Clearly represent nowadays a great danger for all women and men who try to displace words instead of weapons. In this respect, the Mediterranean area can provide a fundamental response to many challenges we are currently facing. This is a crucial point to understand. We cannot think that the answer to Mediterranean problems would come from Europe alone. It would, it would be presumptuous. But I, 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 I strongly believe that Europe can play a much bigger role in promoting intercultural and interreligious dialogue. Uh, and I sincerely, sincerely expect that all the decision makers will do any effort, explore any road in order to strengthen communication, lower differences, and find agreement where there are, there are trouble. Since they form two halves of one area with the age old ties, it, it is clear that uh, there is an urgent need for Europe and its Mediterranean neighbors to combine their complementary assets. After all, these two parts of the Euro Mediterranean areas are, in different ways and for different reasons, facing parallel problems of internal reorganization in a changing world. For this, we need to steer a path of change together between a resigned fatalism in the face of economic globalization on one end and a retreat into exclusive identity politics on the other. For this, two conditions must, must be met. 
readiness to seek in the dialogue with the other new reference points for oneself, general agreement on the aim of constructing a common civilization beyond the legitimate diversity. We should go back to Leopold Sedar Senghor when he used to say that by leaving the particular to the full, we reach the dawn of the universal. One of the paths to improve dialogue could be exactly the idea of religions as a route to, promotion, to the promotion of humanity and peace. It is not easy, it will not be easy. We find the, pos the position of the many that have all interest in pursuing violence and conflict, but we can count on faith, on goodwill, even in the most difficult and dangerous conditions. And let me conclude by quoting a holy man who grew and began his preaching exactly for the Mediterranean shores, St. Augustine, who just wrote, faith stays in what you do, not see. Thank you very much. <laughs>